Hey guys, I'm Tim. I'm Bob. And I'm Spencer. This is the Board Game Rundown, and today we're going to do a preview of House of a Thousand Corpses from Trick or Treat Studios. Now, they did send us this copy this uh, and everything, but we are giving our honest opinion of the game. And uh, so in this game, we are playing as the Firefly, Firefly family, and we are... Uh, right now, we have it set up basically for a three-player game. Uh, there's two, The board in this prototype version is two-sided. So one side is for one and three players, and then the other side is for two and four. If you are playing with three players, you're just going to run with three members of the Firefly family. Otherwise, you're controlling multiple characters so that they're all used. Um, in this game, we are running through our house and uh, trying to search the different rooms. There's all these different search decks to find items. We might gain negative conditions or uh, we're going to find victims and we're going to try to kill them or capture them. And uh, through the, throughout the game, we're trying to get up to at least 12 blood points. Uh, but if you want to play nightmare mode, you got to go to 15. Um, and yeah, so we're going to do that. We can do that either by killing the victims or we can capture them and take them off the board and haul them off to Dr. Satan where we get the full value. Otherwise, if you just murder them, you just get one point. If you take them to Dr. Satan, you get the the uh, the number of their health. Uh, the game is pretty... It's got some really interesting mechanics. It's pretty straightforward. You've got four different actions and you're going to line them up on the bottom of your player board in the order... Not necessarily that you want to use them, but maybe. Oh, yeah, usually maybe. your first kind of uh, round, you want to make sure you plan them in the order you want to do them. Right, because what's going to happen is that first one, the one furthest on the left, is basically free. You're going to do that action, and you'll spend the adrenaline to determine the strength of that action. So, like, if my move card was first, and I wanted to move three spaces, I could just spend three movement cubes, slide them over here to the used area of my board, and I can move three spaces, and then that drops back in the... The last spot in my chain, last open spot, and then the uh, or first open spot in the back, and then my next action slides up, and now that is my cheapest action. If I wanted to move again, now it's under the two adrenaline, so I'd have to spend two adrenaline first, and then uh, adrenaline off of my move slot for uh, how many right. spaces I want to move, or for trophies and items to add on. Correct. You always have to spend the adrenaline if it calls you. For it. Correct. Uh, and yeah, so what we're trying to do is if to kind of beat the clock we've got four rounds to get all those points but if the if three victims escape we lose the game mm -hmm. you can also play if you're not playing on beginner mode you can play with the lieutenant Wydell going around and he's going to pop around from room to room he's kicking down barriers he's revealing the tops of the search decks if he reveals a victim they escape uh which is a super bummer if he as he travels from room to room if he walks across a room where there's a victim they escape if he passes you and you're carrying a victim that victim escapes so there's a lots of ways uh for him to really make life difficult also if he's in a room with a search deck you cannot search there mm -hmm. um all you can do is move out you can move, yeah. all you can do is move so it gets he he is pretty tough he, he he's hard uh he, he really adds a layer of difficulty that uh to the game that that makes it interesting mm -hmm. that's a very brief sort of quick and dirty on how to play. If you kill a, a victim, you're going to get trophies equal to their health. Trophies are one-time use cards. In the search decks, you're going to be able to find items, which are, you're going to have one item equipped. And then between uh, rounds, refresh rounds, uh, we when we, uh, we can change our player order, you get to rearrange your action order, and you can also choose to put a card from a your hand item. and equip it. Yeah. That's the only time you can do that. I say I would say uh, we do have a video cover coming out with it's going to be like a, uh, a full play a, a full teach and play through. Yep. So yeah, like all the minutia you'll be able to see in there. Yeah, and yeah. we play a full game. Yeah, in less than an hour. So. Yeah, yeah, with the teach, mm -hmm. with the teach. Um, but yeah, that's basically the game. Uh, we won't talk too much about specific components because this is a prototype. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, I mean. This look. If I put this out on the table, I don't think anybody would go like, "Oh, this clearly isn't a finished game." I mean, the right. the art is all the really the cards look like normal cards. Yep. Right, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Everything looks in the place. The art is there. Yeah. We have played way worse looking prototypes <laughs> than <laughs> yes. this. This is true. Played worse non prototypes. Also true. Also true. <laughs> also true. Uh, and this being a preview, we're just going to kind of go around and give some of our thoughts on the game, and then whether or not we would recommend it. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Bobby, yeah. why don't you uh, start us off? Give sure. us some thoughts. Uh, so we like cooperative games, especially like horror theme. This is a lot of fun. If you love, if you like the House of a Thousand Corpses, this 
kind of has that feel to it, right? It's it's very bloody. You're you're murdering people. You're trying to, you know, drag these bodies out the back door to get even more blood from them. Uh, and it's neat to kind of try to. Uh, <laughs> Try, try to search through these decks to find the people, but then you got to draw the run, rabbit run cards, and they're constantly running around the board trying to get away or hiding back in the deck again. So you got to go searching through them and whatnot. And then I, I, more games are starting to use this type of an action system where you have cards underneath the thing, and then as you don't use that action, it kind of gets stronger or becomes cheaper to use and whatnot. And I really like that uh, as a way to determine what actions you want to do. So you can't just sit there and like kill, kill, kill. Well, you can, but it's going to start costing you more and more. So, you know, I got to do other things to then work that kill card down and all right, cool. Now I don't have a penalty to my kill card and I can actually kill something for three and spend all my kill cubes. And so like, I, I like that action selection system. Uh, you can trade items back and forth. You can leave items on, on, on the ground for somebody else to pick up, which is super helpful. Um, but no, I thought I thought it was a lot of fun and being able to you know as long as you don't have like somebody quarterback. You know, you run into that with like co-op games where you have you know that's just more a player thing as opposed to the game itself. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. I, but I, I really enjoyed uh, the gameplay. The asymmetrical abilities are all seem super powerful. Like mine just being able to hand out through trophies that was cool. Then Spencer's being able to look at any three cards that looks pretty good. Then uh, what did you do? Oh, well, I was <laughs> yeah. No, I could leave uh, oh, yeah, corpses, corpses in, the, in the rooms right. and then that slows down the victims as they're yeah. running through. So they would just hit. A spot and they mm. would stop. Yeah, but your uh, ability takes kind of a hit when you play with the lieutenant, then because yeah, yeah. Whereas those he bodies, can, he'll flip those bodies right over, and then they are irrelevant after that, which and, is a little uh, unfortunate. Mother Firefly uh, can move people. Anyone, yeah, uh, yeah which is super helpful. Really yeah, yeah, she can move people, and uh, yeah. So there's there's really interesting asymmetrical player powers. Mm -hmm. uh, but no, but I, I I enjoyed it. I think it uh, you know makes a lot of sense with what you're doing with the theme and everything else. And uh, yeah, that was really good, Spencer. Uh, I agree with a lot of what you said, especially this system down here. Mm -hmm. um, I also like how when you're capturing someone, yeah, they fill up. They your board. go in here, mm -hmm. and so when I use things, it's taking up space. Right. I also like how I can burn one of my actions for the whole round, so it's forcing you to make these decisions. Those kinds of decisions I love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially when you're, it's down to the wire. Uh, this game. You really do get down to the wire. Yeah, with you do. That resources. one cube can make all It'll the difference. Because really difference. when you refresh, you don't. You're not guaranteed to get all your cubes back. Right. And, you know, like like uh, Otis only gets five cubes back that I spent. I mean, there's rounds where we're spending like ten cubes. And yeah. You're like, oh, yeah, next yeah, round's really gonna hurt. Yeah. And you can get items and trophies and stuff that will give you more right. uh, in that refresh round, but it's not guaranteed. Please continue, Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like the movement, uh, the board is actually pretty large and we don't get a lot of movement. So mm -hmm. you're starting to depend on getting trophies and things. So you might be, why would you kill something? Because you're only getting one point. You're trying to get to whatever, 15 or 12. Well, I had killed so many because that let me actually do other things to the bigger people. Um, so I really liked those systems. Uh, I like the asymmetric abilities. Mm -hmm. I do think the art is good. I, I like how the... Um, thematic these yeah the item cards are, are all very thematic They're the trophies great. are very thematic and they seem to complement so you your character has an hatchet and that hatchet makes up for your uh right gives losses. me better search and better capture because i'm already naturally good at, that, at right? yeah those are the yeah. weak spots for each character yeah. yeah get you the extra sixth refresh so baby gives yep. you more yep. more kill which brings that up on par and then more search which brings that all up to four which is like the yep. kind of yeah so, slightly above average mm -hmm. uh yeah i like they they balance this pretty well um yeah, and so far we have, we have a pretty good uh win rate we're two out of three two out of three, two out of three. and the loss did come on rate. nightmare mode it so, did. Mm -hmm. yeah. It did. We were so close. Yeah, we would have won if it had been normal mode. Yeah, yeah. if it wasn't for those meddling kids. Yeah, those two. Yeah, well, once, that meddling uh, lieutenant. Yeah, <laughs> he. Yeah, he got us. He, good. he wrecked us. Uh, once you get, uh, make certain you have all the little details of the rules. There really aren't that many. Then yeah, this game goes really fast. Yeah. Uh, and I like the characters from the movie too, just like you know, like Captain Spaulding oh, yeah, and, like uh, and this, Baby. Like. Yeah, so this, like, I'm the horror movie guy, like yeah. out of the out of the group. For you sure. know, Thank, our editor is also a horror movie yeah. guy, so it's nice because I've got him. We can kind of talk about all the horror mm -hmm. hound stuff. But like, this is my favorite Rob Zombie movie. I remember seeing this in the theater, uh, loving it, being blown away just by like the wildness of it. Right. And so. Uh, one of the fun things about Trick or Treat Studios is that now they're you're, you'll see that they don't all just have only horror movies, um, but 
they do have a lot of horror themed games and i love horror themed games uh we bob said it earlier we love difficult co-ops not just like co-ops mm -hmm. but we like take pride in being good at mm -hmm. co-ops and yeah. really love the difficult challenge mode like we want to go like hard like right off the bat mm -hmm. it's like now nah, we know how to play co-op games let's yeah, just go right. hard yeah <laughs> um and we have a, we have a pretty good win rate, you know. I would say probably seventy percent. I think so. You know, we're pretty yeah. dang good. Uh, and this game was challenging. Uh, mm -hmm. You'll see in our playthrough video. You know, there was moments early in the game where we right. thought we lost. Yeah, we thought we were done in like the first second round. Yeah. And you know, we pull through, we rally, and then it, it, I mean, it comes down to the wire. It, yeah, it, it, it was like the wire. yeah. And I, I had made one. I, I got a little too ahead of myself. Eh, I think we needed to push. Yeah, I think yeah, but, we needed to push. I, but, everybody I mean, was, supported your decision, Spencer. It was Spencer. so close. Yes. It was so close. Yeah. I mean, uh, just for, because I supported it doesn't mean I can't then reject it and say <laughs> it was a bad idea later. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, this game had some stand-up moments, you know, just some oh, you know, moments. Mm -hmm. And uh, any game that we that we play, and we play a lot of games. Any game that we play that gets those visceral reactions, for me, is always just going to be a hit. Yeah. Uh, and I really enjoyed it. Now, this is a very dark theme game. This is a game for adults. It does say 17 and up. Um, it, because the up. art, at least as it stands right now, is pretty gory. Mm -hmm. The theme is pretty gory, it, you know, and everything. So, obviously not for everybody. But right. 1 million percent for me because I love horror themed yeah. stuff. And, you know, like how often do you get to play a game where... Because when I first heard that there was going to be a House of a Thousand Corpses game, I'm like, oh, so we're trying to escape the Firefly family, you know, this and that. And it's like, no, 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 you are the... And then it's like, wait, it's a co-op? And it's like, holy crap, what's mm. happening? We yeah, yeah. Bad guys. Yeah. So, uh, and, it, <laughs> you know, it's... Right, it's, it's all perspective. Perspective, baby. Uh, but yeah, this was really cool. This this mechanic down here combined... So the way that you organize your, your actions and... and you know, hopefully planning out your actions so that you can uh, uh, use them most co in the most cost effective manner. But you're also limited by this adrenaline cube economy at the top. Mm -hmm. And then you can only, you're only going to get so many back. So you, there's definitely you times. Overdo it. Yeah, yeah. There's definitely times where it's like, mm, maybe we should like take it easy this round so or you don't have the choice yeah. Yeah. Uh, to take it easy. Mm -hmm. And so it makes for a lot of really, really hard, interesting decisions. And, uh, I thoroughly enjoyed this game. And the more that we've played it, the more I've even appreciated it. I think the first time I played it, I was like, okay, that was that was interesting. And then we played it again and I'm like, oh yeah, like let's go. And then mm -hmm. And then when we filmed like the playthrough, by the time we got to the playthrough, I was like, this game rocks. Mm -hmm. um, and that's kind of where I'm at. This game's badass. I had a great time with it. Um, I guess we'll go around and say if we recommend it, it's probably pretty obvious for me. But uh, Bobby. Uh, yeah, if you like, if you like co-ops, if you like like horror type themed where you get to be the bad guys uh totally check this out like i think you have a lot of fun in uh murdering people and uh dragging them out back to doctors <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool it's so cool how about you spencer oh yeah i definitely recommend it um especially if you like the really tight kind of games where you yeah, every yeah, decision counts count. yeah, yeah yeah and this man just came from church <laughs> uh yeah this is a very strong recommend for me as long as you're okay with the theme you and and the adult yeah. themes right if you're fine with that I think you're gonna have a great time with this. If you're a horror movie fan, this is almost just a must, mm -hmm. right? Uh, because I think you could play it on easy mode if you're not like that right. worried about being intense. Because if you play it on easy mode, you're not gonna have this guy walking around making life a lot worse. Now yeah. the game's still gonna, you're still gonna have to make your choices wisely right? because the victims are gonna be running all over the place. But he definitely uh, ups the difficulty. But he ramps the difficulty up really quick. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I believe that that, gives you sort of this spectrum where the game can appeal to you know the crunchier Various, gamers yeah. versus some of the lighter gamers and again we were playing on nightmare mode we were in the last round and i mean we were done in like an, an hour yeah, oh, yeah yeah with the teach mm -hmm. with the teach uh and an action away from winning oh we were so, so close, close. <laughs> uh so this is a very strong recommend this just checks a lot of boxes for me mm -hmm. and uh and i really appreciated it um do we, anybody else have anything they want to add Nope, don't. No. As we sign so. off, no. I will say again, we said at the top of the video, uh, they did 
they did send us this. This is a sponsored video, but the deal is, even when we're sponsored, we still are going to give our honest opinion because what's the point if we don't? Um, if we didn't like this game, we would not have taken any money for it, and we would have just said, hey, yeah, just pass it along. wasn't for us. We yeah. appreciate the opportunity. Uh, but it is really exciting when we get to get a game like this early and get to talk about it and be excited about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, so hopefully this helps you decide whether or not this game is for you. Yeah. Um, if you found this video helpful, please consider liking, subscribing, giving the video a thumbs up. We do have a Patreon if you'd like to support the show financially and help us keep creating fun content. Um, and if that's not your bag or you can't, that's also fine. Just interact with us, uh, you know, with the comments and the thumbs. We really do appreciate that. And that's very helpful for us as well. We have a very active Discord. Uh, you can hop over, hang out with us. We're doing stuff all the time in there. We're setting up online games. We're playing yeah. on Board Game Arena. We're doing mm -hmm. all kinds of things over there. We also do a live stream every Wednesday, and uh, we hang out with the crowd and interact with people there. There's Discord threads for all of those things. Yeah. So come over and say hi to us. For the Board Game Rundown, I was Otis Driftwood. I'm Baby. I'm Captain Spaulding. <laughs> we'll see you next time.